You can see the lights on the four of Dirty Dan Sander. Remember, race fans, following tonight's races, you can meet us in the pits, and you can meet and greet your favorite driver, get their autograph. All right, lights on the car corner, pace car out. This is going to be a 20-lap event. And they're going to pick up speed. Here they come. Green flag, we're racing. So remember, these cars cannot go faster than 16.400. If they do, they will be disqualified. And that's for competition rules. All right, so Garrison Jeske is going to be the leader. And he's never won a feature before here at the Rockford Speedway. Could tonight be his lucky night? And we are three wide going into three. Now we're okay. As everybody's trying to get around James Amendrude. And the barefoot boot on the 79. Whoa! Made contact with the 96. He tried to go uh, to the inside and just didn't have it straightened out just yet. But he does now. In the meanwhile, Charlie Short trying to catch up to the 19 of Gary Jeske. The 96 of the Beetle Ry Ry uh, Mark Bielefeld in third. Jeremy Watson in fourth. Here comes Eric Pearson. He wants fourth. Down the back stretch they go. Pearson trying to take fourth away from Jeremy Watson. And we might have a three wide, and we do, going down the front stretch into turn one as Mark Bielefeld's in the middle as Jeremy Watson goes to the outside of him. Eric Pearson on the inside of him. They got close coming out of turn four as Mark Bielefeld and Eric Pearson had almost made contact with each other. Here comes Pearson to challenge the 79 of Jeremy Watson. Oh no, we're getting a little sideways with Blake LeConte and Jeremy Watson. I think there was another car involved in that. And Blake LeConte is going to go through the figure eight. Look out, look out, look out. Three thirteen of Landon Perry going to go down a lap here. Gary Jeske hanging on for the lead. Eric Pearson, your fast qualifier now, finds himself in second. He's going to challenge for the lead. Pearson and Jeske side by side. Going into one, coming out of turn two. Pearson has the advantage now. He has the lead. Ten down, ten to go for your leader, Eric Pearson. Gary Jeske hanging on to second. Jeremy Watson for third. Some sparks coming out of the five of Charlie Shork with the chainsaw dust and Raiden behind him, and then it's the Moose Todd Snow. Dustin Raiden finally able to get around Charlie Short. The Moose Todd Snow looks to do the same. And he gets around him, and now Todd Snow starting to look to the inside of Raiden, and Raiden pulls away that time. Jeremy Watson looking to the inside of Gary Jeske. Here they come. Seven to go for Eric Pearson. Down they come. No change, first through fifth. Charlie Shork in sixth. James Amendrew trying to hold off Dirty Dan Sander. And then it's going to be Ashley Matz. Five to go for Eric Pearson.
four to go for Eric Pearson. Here comes Dustin Raynant on the inside of the barefoot Buddha, Jeremy Watson, and the barefoot Buddha pulls away. Three to go for Eric Pearson. Todd Snow starting to look to the inside of Dustin Radent. And Dustin Radent says, I don't think so. He's going to go and make a move on Jeremy Watson. The 96 of Mark the Beetle Bielefeld spins out. He's still going. We are still racing. White flag out for Eric Pearson. On the last lap, can he get one? Dustin Raiden gonna challenge for third. Checkered flags out. Eric Pearson will win. Gary Jeske for second. Jeremy Watson for third. Dustin Raiden for fourth. And Todd Snow riding, rounding out the top five. All right. Last call, 50-50. Last call, 50-50. Last call, 50-50. All right, sponsored by Lily's Deliveries, Best Bet Auto Repair, Hardcore Garage Door, Team Elsa Racing, Home Wrecker Racing, No Limit Motorsports, in memory of in memory of in memory of Lark Spang so I guess Mark the Beetle Billefeld just needed one more lap to go around the track now he's good alright there's a make some notes for Eric Pearson Eric let's go over here and talk Come on over here. I actually got a good spot. My mic's been playing games with me tonight. Uh, you've been too so I know you don't know what's going on with the mic. Eric, it's, it's been a while since I've got to talk to you in victory lane. I mean, you are definitely making a charge. This is the year that you were really hoping to win a championship. And, I mean, it's a battle with the clock. You're, I, you know, I mean, you were running about 16 eights. That's where you were sitting when I came down with five laps to go. Um you know, you had to get around Gary Jeske. I mean, you know, good, good, clean pass there. Um, let's talk about the race, though, tonight. Uh, racing's racing, man. You know, you come out here, you give it your all. Uh, I race against some of the best competitors I could get. Uh, little Blake Lacani is my cousin. I mean, he gives me a run for my money all the time when he's there. Uh, Mark Beetlefell, everybody out here, you know, everybody comes to do the same thing. We're here chasing trophies. That's what we're here for. All right, I named your sponsors, Eric, but you got anybody else you want to thank? I mean, you got some important people over there, I think, don't you? Uh, my pit guys, Eric Bennett, Stefan, my cousin Dwayne, my mom and dad, of course, all my friends, all my sponsors. That's what we're here for, buddy. We're all right, you look like you need to get some water. You're, you're a little winded. <laughs> all right, make some noise one more time for Eric Harrison. All right. What a win for Eric Pearson. We got one more feature to go. Remember, 50-50, last call. Last time I checked, we were at $1,800.